I was recently playing around with height map importing into Unreal Engine 5 World Partition and found out that disabling the landscape edit layers allows for larger size height map imports. So I then performed a range of test import sizes and determined that the largest height map that can be imported with this setting is 32641 by 32641. This is a decent landscape size that should fit even the most demanding open world game design, providing 32 kilometers by 32 kilometers at 1 meter scale, which is 1024 square kilometers. The largest height map size with landscape edit layers enabled is 16321 by 16321, one quarter the area or 256 square kilometers. Be aware that disabling the landscape edit layers functionality prevents the use of non-destructive landscape editing and landscape splines. Recently, I've been doing a lot of work with investigating Unreal Engine 5.2 HLODs, which are hierarchical levels of detail. I have tested landscape HLOD builds on height map sizes from 2017 to 32641, and on average, Unreal Engine 5 requires about 250 gigabytes of memory commit to successfully build the HLODs. So for those people with computers that only have 32 gigabytes or 64 gigabytes of memory, the Windows page file will have to be manually increased to around 250 gigs to 300 gigabytes in size. And you should have a large fast SSD drive with lots of free space for the page file. Preferably a top class M2 NVMe drive, since virtual memory access is slow. My next plans are to delve into the HLOD layers and how HLOD builds are affected by foliage and meshes. I am currently working on the next World Partition Series videos for HLOD Part 2 and beyond. One issue to keep in mind is that HLODs are still bugged in UE 5.2 and UE 5.3 and they do not correctly triangulate along edges with the landscape components. You can see this as cracks in between the landscape and HLOD meshes, most visible in unlit render mode. For now, you would have to try to hide this with fog or other means. TerraSculptor has had a few recent updates and changes to how it manages a few important things internally. For example, the device execution function no longer checks for a required available amount of physical memory for each device, but will now allow virtual memory to be used for building devices. This means that people with computers with lower amounts of physical RAM memory, such as 16 gigabytes or 32 gigabytes, can now build larger height maps up to massive sizes. The only item to note is that virtual memory is on the computer system disk or SSD drive, so it is much slower than physical memory, and this may impact build times for the devices. I have currently only tested device execution on height map sizes that are two times larger than physical memory, meaning that the page file in use was the same size as the amount of physical RAM memory. The device execution was considerably slower, but still usable. I recommend creating a manual page file of at least 250 gigabytes if you're planning on using this feature a lot. I will be performing a set of tests and creating a video showing the page file performance with TerraSculptor. Note that the performance will vary with your system hardware, most notably your page file drive performance. I plan on releasing an updated build of the free TerraSculptor 2.0 with some bug fixes. There are a couple of issues with a couple of the features, and I figured that the community would appreciate that they were fixed. This update should roll out sometime in September. Check the website support page for the updated TerraSculptor 2.0 download dated as of this year.
There will not be an automated software update availability notification for this update for users who already have it installed. So you will have to manually check for the update. As soon as I can find some free time, I plan on updating the Dimension Media RGBAK Master Materials and Auto Material on the Epic Marketplace. I would like to add physical material support, manual paint layers, and other additional features. The RGBAK Master Material can be used with the TerraSculptor weight maps, splat maps, and biome devices to create rapidly generated high-quality multi-textured landscapes. The typical auto material has only two or three weight maps, such as flat slope, steep slope, and elevation. Whereas RGBA case flat maps can support up to five weight maps for significantly more realistic texturing, including water flow, erosion, terrain concavity, and convexity, and more. This has been Tech Talk with Dimension Media. Cheers!